Your former governor running for president here as well. She's not my favorite. I wouldn't vote for her. How come? What did she do that you didn't like? She's a crook. I mean, it'd take me a while to talk about all that, but she's not. What has she done for South Carolina? I, I don't. I just don't like her. You know. It, it sounds like everybody's a crook except Donald Trump. It is. That's how I feel. But, but he's the only one really is being indicted on it. For, well, I mean, they don't like him. He knows a lot of stuff that's going on in this country. You know, he knows a lot of, and they can't win him over. He loves this country. He didn't even make a paycheck when he ran for four years. He really does care about us. I think the rest of the government and the presidents and all these people are all about money, money, money. He never was like that. He was a businessman anyway. I liked him because of that. He wasn't in politics, you know. I think he does care about us. I do. What do you think about the GoFundMe that's being started to support his legal bills in New York? Well, they're trying to take every penny he's got anyway. I mean, look what they're doing for his towers up in New Jersey. They're trying to break him, you know. So GoFundMe, if I had the money, I'd definitely give him some. He's a billionaire, and you'd give him money? They're, yeah, but they're trying to take all that. Have you not seen what's going on? You know, they're trying to take all of his towers. They're trying to take all of his. I mean, some woman from, what, 40 years ago comes up and says she was raped and got millions of dollars from him, they say. That's ridiculous. And she's talking about going shopping. She's not even talking about supporting the people that really has got raped. Do something for them. You know, get some kind of counseling. You're talking about taking all your buddies going out shopping somewhere. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that bothers me, you know? People are talking about freedom of religion. They're talking about how they're trying to infuse more Christianity into our politics. How do you feel about that as well? Well, I am a Christian. Do you believe in separation of church and state? I, I don't know about I don't know for sure. I just know that I'm a Christian. I'll serve my Bible, my God, you know. If Donald Trump loses again, what would that mean for you, and what do you think that would mean to the country? Honestly, I think if he loses again, I just think it's going to be a very bad thing. I, I do. I think the taxes are going to go up. I think the border might get worse, you know, and uh, the gas prices won't. I mean, when Trump was in house, we had cheap gas. We had our own people making gas. And Joe Biden closed that pipeline down the day, first day he signed it. All those thousands of people losing their jobs. I just think it's going to be... Yet we are today drilling more oil, domestic oil, than we ever have in the history of the country. I don't think so. No, we are. That's what they... Where are they drilling at? Throughout the country, offshore, Alaska. They're, I mean, that's a fact. I mean, I'm not making no, that. No, no, I know that. Yeah. But what about yeah, our own country, though? We had, we were doing it in our own country, we, you know, making our own gas here. We didn't have to go to another country. You know what I'm saying? We had it here. So. <laughs> well, we're drilling it here now is what well, I'm that saying. That is wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Donald Trump in 2020 was very critical of the Black Lives Matter movement. And yeah, I don't think so. I didn't see any of that. I think, what well, I never saw that. I've heard that before, but you'll have to prove that one to me because i never seen that. He well, actually did so much for the black community. No, no, I'm saying he was critical of the Black Lives Matter movement. That I movement. was too. What kind of crap was that? Well, he's, he's, in, he's inviting them now. He wants their support, and he's saying Why that... Why wouldn't he? Well, you know what? Most of them will come over because they never got, they got lied to about the black life support. They didn't get any money that Joe Biden promised. All that was, none of that went towards what their cause. And they were out there burning down buildings, killing people, robbing people. What, who would want to support that them then? And maybe they changed their attitude. Maybe that's why he invited them on. Maybe they got sense now. And what do you feel about January 6th in that light? Uh, I think when you are at the White House and you have police officers asking you to come in and showing you the way, they did, come on in, come right in here. And I think that man that shot that lady and killed her, he needs to be in jail right now. I think it's ridiculous to have our boys still in prison for what they believed in. It would have been a simple protest, but the people that weren't there caused that. They were, I watched it. Come on in, come on in, jump over there, jump over there. They never try to stop anybody. They encouraged it. All those cops there encouraged that whole thing. And have there's people that murdered walking the street, and we got somebody that had their freedom of speech trying to go there, and they're still in jail. They're treating them horrible. Well, some have been convicted on felonies. Well, they took it. They took the plea where they could get out of there. A lot of them, because I mean, can you imagine just being in prison all day for something you believed in when they got invited? on the cops were like, come on in, come on in. And that guy that shot that girl, 
I hope he writes in hell to tell you the truth about it, and I am a Christian. Donald Trump, what is it that you like so much about it? I liked it because I could buy uh, gas uh, for a couple of dollars because I use premium and now I'm paying for. And I like it because I want him back president because of the safety of our country. And I'm a true, pre and I love our country. I mean, God bless America. You know, this is all we have. This is what's happening, in my opinion. How much of that do you blame on the pandemic, the price increases and the cost of living as we adjusted from a pandemic? I don't blame any of it on that. Honestly, I worked through the whole thing and my stocks went sky high. I mean, I was blessed to have a good job, but people got, uh, they used that as a, an escape go, give me, give me, give me, and, tr and uh, Joe Biden allowed that. And after after the virus was over, he never did anything to tell people to go back to work. He was enjoying and giving them money. He likes giving money away. I mean, look at the money he's gave Ukraine. I mean, he just likes to do that kind of stuff. Do you support the giving money to Ukraine? No, I support him taking care of our border and people here in the United States that need uh, money. What about uh, Israel? Well, you know, Israel is God's chosen people. And I, I do support Israel because that is not part of what's going on with Ukraine and that part of our world. They, I don't think they have anything to do with it. I don't think it's there. I think that we should do that for them. You think it was what? I think we should help Israel. But they, that, that's the same money that you say we shouldn't give because it takes away from problems here. Well, first, I would rather take care of our own people. And our own country is number one to me, you know, and if we have a few dollars, I'd rather go to Israel than anywhere else. If Donald Trump is indicted on any one of these 91 counts by a jury, not by a judge sitting on a bench and saying you have to pay us this much money, but by a jury of our peers, sort of the pillar of our judicial system, how would that affect your opinion? Well, I think all of that is just a hoax. I don't think he should be charged with anything. I mean, look what he's done and look what Joe Biden's done. Nothing ever happens to Joe Biden for anything he has done, like keeping all the important papers in his garage. They bust Trump and he had them in a safe. You couldn't even get in his house. It's just all uh, too, too, too. I don't believe that Trump has done anything that bad to not to run this country. I really don't. And the judges don't like him anyway. Well, Nobody forget likes President Trump. I mean, you know, authority-wise, I don't think. Forgetting the judges, um, uh, I'm talking about a jury, which isn't authority at all. They've been influenced, and I even think they could be paid off. I really do. That's how I feel about it. So even if he's indicted, you don't think that you think he would have that jury would have been paid off? Could yes, I do think that. Mm-hmm.